the home stand is coming up at the end of stage three. If you haven't already bought tickets, be sure to buy tickets. It's um, at July 6th to July 7th. The games are going to be very good, so be excited for that. And you can buy them at atlrain.com. One, two, three, uh. The very first guy that I want to bring up for you played the flex support for the squad. That's Kodak, my man. Come on out, take a seat. Right here for you, man. The Kodak doesn't get it done, doesn't get it done alone. And the layer is over there as well. DPS here for the team. Come on out. And then one of the coaches for the team as well. Cass is gonna be here joining us. Come on out as well. You guys like that? Got a little bit of a sports intro, right? You feeling good? <laughs> I think my experience was really awesome in Momocon, except for the heat. The heat was really hot and humid and it kind of hit you, but the people were awesome. I loved doing the signings, loved doing the, like being with the fans and talking to them. Yeah, just meeting a lot of people. It was great. I'd been to one convention before, but Momocon was way bigger than that. And it really blew me out of the water with how many people were there and how many people were cosplaying. Uh, so yeah, I had a really fun time. What's the hashtag for the Atlanta rain? You ready? Let me get your name here first. Let me get your name. I'm Ethan. Hi. It's hashtag let it rain. Hashtag let it rain. That sounds right to me. It was a very surreal experience. I hadn't ever had that before. I think my job is pretty normal, right? But when, when you have so many fans coming out, it just makes you feel really good and makes you really feel like you have a purpose and why you're doing that job and why you have that. It was great. It was really fun. Really fun weekend. You know, it was my first like first comic convention, you know, I went to Gamescom before in Germany and that was a way different experience and I was really young back then so like, you know, it kind of more got to me right now so I kind of realized what everything is and you know, like the fan meetings and stuff, the fan meetups and every, like the fans coming like to meet us was like really great and you know, I think it was a really good time. I want to say guys, uh, really, I appreciate that you all come today here, we really love you. It's really big support from you, so yeah, it's really cool to play on big stage for Roach League. It's like, uh, personally, I didn't expect uh, that a lot of people will come to us. It was, I don't know, some sort of amazing like feeling. Uh, you see all these people, they talk with you, they're really cool, interesting, and like, you know, that support, it was really big. Like just for a con, there were so many people, right? I didn't expect so many people to come out for the Atlanta rain, but there were a ton of people with the Atlanta rain jerseys on and people wanted to get Atlanta rain stuff signed and it just blew me out of the water, even though it wasn't even the full team, you know, still so many people were coming out and it was great. People coming just to meet us is like kind of surreal for me, you know, like one year ago, I didn't think of that at all. You know, just like a normal kid playing video games and now like I'm a professional player and like people look up to me. So, you know, it's amazing and it like just feels crazy and I'm really thankful. I already said it's like you can't describe that feeling. It's like, uh, like, like pleasure burning inside from you, like to outside. I don't know. You can't even stop smiling, and uh, especially uh, when it's like uh, your home city of your organization. Yeah, starting from where I was to just gaming in my in my room, you know, to flying out to Atlanta and doing panels there. That's a crazy surreal experience. Uh, I've done some public speaking for for my study but n never anything like, like this, you know, for something that I have so much passion for and something that I love so much. Uh, and it was just a great experience, like talking to all the fans, answering questions for something that's like so close to my heart. And it's great. What's your favorite, uh, besides the panels and the meetups, what's been your favorite, th uh, what fun stuff have you guys done here at the con, either on the floor or what have you guys been looking in on that you guys like? I think uh, all the time I talk to people and it's really cool. I don't know, I'm enjoying this time just talking to these people. 
Yeah, I really enjoyed the arcade game. My favorite moment was when Larry Kodak and, and our content manager went and bought Spider-Man suits at one of the yes. one of the cosplay booths, and they put them onto the party yesterday, and it looked really good. <laughs> <laughs> Um, uh, 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 probably meeting all the fans, uh, you know, like talking to all of you guys, and uh, 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 the drum thing, the drum game. I don't know how it's called, but yeah, yeah, that one was really fun. I enjoyed that one a lot. It was a nice feeling. It was a nice feeling for sure. Like you know, we really enjoy like answering all the questions for our fans and like you know just talking to them. So it's nice like that they want to understand us better, you know, like get more of a taste from our own, like how we are or like what we think about certain things. So like, yeah, I think it was awesome. What I'm most excited about for the for the homestand games and, and what it's going to be next season is that what the Dallas stage has shown us is that esports can be really big, it can fill up stadiums, but that doesn't work if we go to the same stadium every week, right? Going from city to city will make sure that every fan and everywhere has their opportunity to see their team play on stage, and that's what I'm super excited about. For the bigger crowds, for more fans getting involved, and esports is becoming bigger as a whole. So, being to Momocon, I asked all the all the fans there, like, are you going to the homestand or not? Are you coming on the 6th and 7th of July? And it, I think almost everyone said yes, or they're looking to go, or they really want to go. So that's just like so many people there already want to go and then I know it's going to be even crazier there so I feel like it's just like a, a step up you know the homestand is going to be insane there's going to be so many people and this was just like a small taste of what's to come ladies and gentlemen give it up for one more time your home team it's the Dallas Fuel I don't have any words uh, to like describe uh, what will be at Homestead Games because what I saw at Momocom it was amazing and uh, what will be at Homestead Games I think it will be big pop champ guys like everyone will cheer for us that loud people that loud fans it will be super super cool I don't know I think I will have uh, even uh, eye drops from my eyes because it's like uh, it's really big feeling as I said like before you know, like seeing everyone with your jersey, you know, the Land Rain jersey, like it's just showing like great support and like it feels you, like it makes you feel way better. So yeah, we will get like motivated when we walk out and we see like all the fans, you know, or like in front of the stadium. Like ju we just feel, see the fans with our merch and, you know, it will give us like a kind of boost. For the whole event, I'm looking forward to having everyone rally behind our team and imposing fear into the teams that walk on stage to play against us and having kind of that seventh person in the crowd and then cheering our team on and giving them that morale boost and i'm excited to be toronto and mayhem when we do have the homestand games